last video we figure out the problem with the alternator to solve the electrical system then it was the time for the battery terminal and the fuses sb fuses on the top then we move to the window switch regulator then the air conditioning compressor clear out the cooling system by flushing and back flushing it then we did a try to code the abs system unsuccessfully eventually we sent the car to volkswagen to get it coded so the car just came back from Volkswagen, ABS light gone, airbag light still exists because there is a problem with the igniter of the airbags and as soon as they coded the check engine light came back. So we need to address that and radio is working again after we got the radio code generated from the Volkswagen and we inquired about it outside and the guy who was able to do it was quoting like seven to eight thousand rupees for doing these two jobs but we sent it to Volkswagen and we got it done in just two thousand rupees so sometimes it's better to just send your car to Volkswagen so let's just scan the code first and see what is this check engine light really saying so these are the faults which we are getting mass or if volume airflow sensor which is actually for map sensor turbo boost control position which is turbo boost actuator which is located on the top of the turbo charger throttle pedal sensor there was a code but somehow it's not now intake air temperature sensor bank one so we need to check the live data for all of the things before we can conclude anything so the lights are gone i've turned off the engine because i need to do one thing which i absolutely forgot that in a diesel car whenever you change either the ecu or the injectors you need to change the code you need to code the injectors as well to the ecu so what I've done is I've clicked injectors photo. I've done one injector is the injector number two correlation value. So what I do is like I click photos like this. At two fingers means this is injector number two. And right here you can see the injector code. I'm gonna copy this injector code. And read the text. It's not reading. So it is B E H J. K L B E H J K L. So we'll put the injector number two co new value. It's B E H J K L. We'll verify it once again. B E H J K L. B E H J K L. Sometimes if it shows wrong value, you me you may you may need to add zero up front and after that your coding will get accepted sometimes ECU accepts seven digit zero doesn't mean anything in these things at the last okay so this is how you code the injectors let me do all the four and then I have to run a minimum quantity deviation cycle adaptation cycle so basically what we are now doing is refining the idle so all the injectors have been coded now new code okay okay and done so what we need to do is turn off the switch for like 5 to 10 seconds and then start the car again so look at the idle and it's with the air conditioning on so now we need to do a little bit of adaptations we need to adapt the turbocharger as well we need to adapt the egr valve as well and we need to adapt the throttle position sensor as well and all of these things you can find in the engine control module if you're using obd11 it's a little bit easy if you're using uh, vcds then the best is go to control module number one go to adaptations and you can find all the adaptation right there and some of the things you'll find in basic settings like learned values resetting and okay there are things which you can find in basic settings as well like throttle valve adaptation in which the car will actually adapt the anti-shutter valve because it's a diesel so it doesn't have a throttle valve but to make sure that when we shut off the car 
it shuts off with the smoothest possible way throttle valve adaptation is needed so it just threw up a code again so I guess we may need to change the MAF sensor intake air temperature sensor bank 1 so this is the intake air temperature sensor plus boost pressure sensor both in one unit before changing the sensor I remember that the condition of the wiring loom was not that good so before making a decision to change the sensor I checked the wiring first Lagadi belly. तीसरी लगाओ लगी तीसरी चौथी लगाओ So just taped one of the engine wiring looms and one more to go. What we need to do is we need to do we need to open the airbag module and a lot of you will think it's just this cover but actually there are three bolts right here one two and three and plus a igniter wire as well. You need to decouple those things and then you can pull the airbag out. I'm showing you the process of how to replace an airbag because I need to complete this thing and send it to a paint shop because my airbags are still in transit and I guess it will take 11 to 12 days more before they can and after this you will see the visuals when the car gets back from the paint shop.